Hello, in this project, I'm gonna show you how to add commenting to a blog post or CMS item inside of Webflow. So I'm gonna do that by actually adding this commenting functionality directly to the member stack blog. This was a, a project we've been wanting to do and I built this prototype that I'm gonna move over to the member stack website on this video so that you can see exactly what you'll need to do if you add it to your own site. So quickly, a demo. Here is the published site. Here are all of my comments. These are all different user-generated comments, and I'll show you how it works. These fields are auto-filled by member stack. That's optional, you don't have to have that. And then you can just enter a comment. So this is a comment. Submit. And there we go. It's got today's date, the comment, and if you click reply to, it just scrolls you down to the bottom where the uh, you can leave another comment. So what this looks like in Webflow, if we go over here, we can see that the comments in the unpublished site is just a big string of text, and each of these comments is contained within a start and end. Uh, this is all being generated by Make, and I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a second. Uh, but what it looks like inside of the post is just like this. So I'm gonna click into the post, and if I wanted to delete the most recent comment, I would just go to the end, to the start and save it and there we go i have now moderated my comment if we head over to make real quick we'll see that anytime the comment is submitted it's going to look up the item add the comment to the item and then uh, redirect the user and i'm also going to get an email that that new comment was made that way if anything fishy <laughs> happens uh, i can go in and i can update that I could also add filters to, to take out naughty words and things like that, but this is just, I'm starting out nice and simple, anything goes. So with the demo out of the way, I think let's go ahead and set up the website to migrate over our comments. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna go into my blog posts and I'm gonna go to settings. And then I need to add a couple fields. For one, I need to have the CMS ID inside of each blog post. And if you don't have that yet, or don't have that set up to automatically be added, then I'm going to link out to the other tutorial video you need to watch to get this going. Uh, in order for this commenting system to work, you will need the CMS ID of each blog post on the blog post. So the next thing we're gonna need is a place to put the comments. So let's do a plain text field called comments and it's gonna be multi-line and save it. All right, just like that. If we go back over to this project, we'll see that we just need the user comments and the CMS ID. That is it. Uh, and by the way, I'm gonna make this clonable so you'll be able to, to have access to everything that I have access to here. And we'll save it. All right, now that that, that is done, let's go ahead and publish the site. It's very important to anytime we make changes to the CMS that we publish to all of our domains. That way, make doesn't throw any fits. Next thing we want to do is actually grab the commenting UI and place that into the new site. So we'll go to do not delete. And we're going to copy this. This element is important. All of the class names starting with comment um, will be required since we're going to be using just like standard HTML. We need to make sure Webflow knows how to style these things. So here inside of this project, I have a don't delete page. And I'm just going to copy this or paste this in down there at the bottom. Okay, and we'll tweak the styling a little bit. Like I don't want to use Meriwether here. I want to use fig tree bold. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. Make this a little bit smaller. Maybe tweak the spacing on that a little bit as well. Let's go with something like 10. All right, now that that's done, let's copy it and we'll go to our blog post template. Scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna add that comment down here 
below my blog post. We're also going to need this form down here at the bottom with the embed script. So let's wrap all this in a div. Okay, so I just cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, you'll be able to find on the do not delete page, just everything you need here. You're gonna copy the div block and paste that into the site. There we go. Okay, cool. So you'll wanna change your class names to, to match your styling, but I'm gonna do that here in just a second, or maybe I'll pause and do that now. Alrighty, so the styles are updated. The next thing I wanna do is go in here and I'm gonna locate the HTML embeds. So I clicked on the comments header and hit the little right arrow key. And now I'm going to add comments. There we go. Save and close. And then same thing down here. I'll click on just one of these text field wrappers, or actually I'll click up to the flex row and click down to the HTML embed. So I click the button and then click left. This is a hidden field. The value of the hidden field should be the CMS ID. Save and close. That way, whenever this um, form submits, I'm able to get that CMS ID and look up the item. I think that's it for in here. All of our comments are going to look like this, which I want to tweak the styling a little more. Hang on just one second. Uh, let's do just a nice blue and we'll change the underline color too. There we go. Okay, cool. So our comments are gonna look like this. I can hide this now uh, or even delete it once I know that it looks the way I want. There we go. So this is what the site's gonna look like once my comments are in place. And I think that's good enough for now. I might tweak it later. Uh, and because I put this on the do not delete page, I can get rid of it from this page. And we'll publish. The next thing we wanna do is actually import the comment scenario. So we wanna create this in our make account. And check this out, this is pretty cool. I can export this blueprint. I'm gonna make this available to you and I'll put it on the home page of this clonable project. So you'll be able to download the blueprint. And then what you'll do is inside of make, you'll create a new scenario and then you're gonna to go to the three dots and import the blueprint. Just like that. There we go. And it's gonna set that up automatically. At this point, we just need to go through and update everything so that it actually works on our site and works in the way that we want. So let's do it. First thing, start with the webhook. We're going to add a webhook and call this new blog comment and then show advanced options. And we're going to leave that blank and then set all of these to yes and save. There we go. So this is now waiting for us to send it some data. We're going to copy that webhook, go back into Webflow, find our commenting form and paste in the webhook and make sure this is set to post and publish. When that's done, we can head over to our published site, refresh the page and submit the form. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing this on the live site and not on the staging domain, it's because you have to publish to both in order for make to work. If you do just one or the other, you're gonna run into some issues. Submit. There we go. So it liked the webhook, that's perfect. We'll go back in here into our project and see that it was successfully run. Click OK. Next thing, we'll set this filter here. So uh, just in case in the future, if any of your posts don't have a CMS item, I, I set this up, but I, this is optional. You don't need it. Then we're going to get an item. So we'll make sure we're using the right account here. We will go get our collection ID from Webflow. You can find that on the CMS collection settings. So we'll want to copy this. Sometimes Webflow makes it difficult to actually copy it. 
So sometimes you actually have to inspect <laughs> and then go in and grab the ID this way. So we'll grab that, paste it in right there. The CMS ID is going to come from the form submission. So that's good. Then we're going to update the item. There's a couple things we need to do here. First one is change the site. Make sure it matches the site we are actually working on. We can select the collection. Map in the item ID. Same thing here, so we'll get the CMS ID. And then down here, there's a, actually a couple things we need to do. I just realized some of the code was not imported in here, so I'm gonna provide that to you maybe in the description or in the blog post where you'll find this video. Um, but for now, I'm gonna grab it over here. So under update item, under user comments, we need all of this code. So where's my comments? Comments, 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 there it is. And paste. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna map all this data back over. So here at the top, we're gonna pull in any previous comments, those will appear above. Then the website will go there for the link href. The commenter name appears there. The current date, so it's gonna pull the date that it was submitted and format it like this. Uh, if you Google around for um, make date formatting, you'll find a list of these. Then we'll enter in the actual comment and the name again down here. Okay, so now that that's done, we map in our name that's required and set it to live. Okay, I think I did all that correctly, so we'll continue on. Next up is the webhook response. This gets sent back to the page and it's gonna refresh the page so that the changes uh, take place immediately. We're gonna need our site domain, everything up until the actual slug of the blog post. So in my case, it's memberstack.com slash blog, and then the slug. I do include the slash here. And I followed mine up with hashtag comments because that's gonna scroll down to the comments section like that and save it. And then the last thing is you can have yourself get like a Slack notification or an email. By default, it's an email and you just need to map in the comment like that and click OK. All right, so I'm a little skeptical that this is gonna work the first time. Uh, it almost never does, but let's give it a try. All right, fingers crossed that that works. I haven't added any loaders or anything to that yet, but oh yes, it worked. All right, just like that, we have commenting working inside of Webflow. And this is not going to negatively impact our CMS limits or anything. Um, I should have just got an email letting me know that this, uh, that Duncan Hammer just left a comment and I could go in and delete that, which I'll actually do right now just before I forget. So we'll go to blog posts. And there it is right there. Scroll down here and we'll just delete all of that and publish. There we go. No more comments. One thing I want to do while I'm in here is I'll actually go back over to the blog post template and I'm going to hide the commenting title. So this up here at the top, so conditions, comments is set, save. There we go. All right, I think that's everything. As long as you're copy and pasting everything from the uh, clonable project here, you shouldn't have any issues. It's gonna have all the code you need. The code snippet I'm gonna give you to add to make, that'll be, that'll have everything you need to be fully up to date. And then yeah, you'll have commenting inside of Webflow. If you have any questions, feature suggestions, way to improve this, let me know. Please leave a comment. Um, I'll be reading all of those and we'll be making updates as I hear from folks. So thank you all so much. Hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.